it's time to rank every character in the game by their stats combined in four categories survivability consisting of total health shield and damage reductions damage consisting of damage critical chance and penetration utility consisting of potency and tenacity and lastly shield speed in its own category in this first video i'm going to rank the defender characters in the game from the worst to the best there are nine characters starting with the absolutely rock bottom it's hilda Hilda has a C rating in survivability, a B rating in damage, F in utility, and E in speed. Having a low speed isn't that bad for a tank, but only having a C survivability really cripples her and what she can do. On the other hand, she has turn meter reduction but her utility is a C rating, an F rating, sorry. So that makes her not very good. She's ranked at the, as the worst defender character stat-wise in the game. Moving on to number eight on the list. That is no other than Atom. He might be regarded as the absolute worst in some content, but stat-wise, he's only second worst. He has a survivability rating of C, damage of E, you don't need that as a tank, survivability is the most important. Then he's got utility on a B rating and speed on an F rating. Looking at his skills, the only really useful one is a 40% chance to inflict a damage decrease for two turns. This is powerful when it procs, but there's only 40% chance to inflict this. So, And you need high potency on top of that to, uh, to make the status effect stick. So, overall, the second worst tank in the game. Moving on to number seven. Might be a surprise, but Little Baddie is actually the seventh on the list. She has a B rating in survivability, C rating in damage, E in utility, and F in speed. But more or less all the characters have E or F uh, in speed of the defenders, except one. Little Baddie is good in to some extent and uh, her skill set definitely makes up for her lack of character stats but in this video it's all about character stats so she's rated as number seven but that's not saying that she doesn't have any value turn meter reduction on a basic taunt which can also remove one buff, blind, and uh, respawning ability more or less, taunt, uh, cheat death, I mean. So she's good, but her character stats are not that good. Moving on to number six on the list. I guess you're thinking it's Kelrian's turn, but it isn't. It's Kin Lee. He's got a very strong set as well, skill set, but his stats are not that good. He's got a B rating in survivability, a C rating in damage, D rating in utility, and of course F rating in speed. He is very tanky, but that's mainly due to dodge because his uh, health and shield 
and damage mitigation in total aren't that high, but his dodge makes up for it. Moving on to number 5 on the list, now we have Kelrin. Kelrin is the only one that doesn't have uh, E or F as a speed in total in the game. He's actually rated a C character, so he's rather fast for a tank, which isn't good. Um, his other stats are B in survivability, D in damage, D in utility, and then the C in speed. His skill set, on the other hand, is lackluster to say the least. There's not much benefit here uh, compared to many of the other tanks. So he's, he might be fifth best character uh, of the defenders stats wise, but his skill set is one of the worst ones. Number four on the list, it's Darien. Your first character in the game that nobody really likes mainly because his skill set is crap, but his stats are good. He's B rating in survivability, C rating in damage, D rating in utility, and the favorable F in speed. So this makes him the fourth best stat character of the defenders in the game. But taking his skill set into consideration, he is definitely one of the worst defenders you can get. Now for the big ones, number three on the list. Who do you have left? We have Salvador, we have Trumgard, Trumgar, and Meriwheel. Surprisingly enough, he's still around. And he's not even third on the list. It's Salvador. The Ninja Turtle. He's got a B rating in survivability, E in damage. He does absolutely no damage whatsoever. A B rating in utility and the favorable F in speed. His skill set supports his stats. His steel shell makes sure he takes absolutely no damage. He's got a basic taunt. Nothing special to that. Uh, an attack skill that's supposed to gain shield equal to 10% of max health, but it does no damage at all. And extra physical armor for each pride in the uh, party. Salvador is probably the defender that does the least damage of any of the defenders by far. But he is very hard to kill, on the other hand. And that's what really what you want from a tank. So he's second best, third best, sorry, in the game. And I think it's no surprise that this guy isn't first. It's a surprise that he's second, but it's definitely no surprise that he, start, he doesn't have the best stats in the game for the defenders. But Mega Wheel is actually the second best character in the game, defender-wise, when looking at stats. His survivability is at an A rating. The first defender to have this. He's got a D damage, D utility, and E speed. Mega Wheel is hard to kill, stat-wise. His skill set, on the other hand, is more favorite of damage. So I'm a bit torn on him because his stats say he's a tank, but his skill set is more of a hybrid damage dealer, utility guy, defender. So he's a bit all over the place. He's a jack of all trades, really. But he's not the best defender, stat-wise. It is, of course, no other than our favorite orc, Tromgar. He is in every content of the game. He can do well in tower, arena, even raid, and in several of the tournaments. 
He's a Dragon Slayer on top, which makes him usable in some of the events. And his stats is A rating in survivability, E rating in damage, a C rating in utility, which supplements his skill set with the stun very, very well. Putting him as a leader on top of that, increasing his potency, makes him and his tenacity, moves his utility up in the top of the game, making him very good at inflicting stuns and resisting debuffs and dispels of his own taunt. And the last stat, F on speed, which is desirable as well. Trumgar is by far the best character looking at stats in game. And combining it with his skill set, this further improves it. But this is only as a standalone character. As a standalone character, there's no guard, no doubt that Trumgar is the best character defender in the game. But of course, combining with faction synergies, this changes. But as a standalone character, Trumgar is the way to go. That's it. I'll follow up with character stats for healers, fighters, and tacticians later on. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.